Hey there, my name is Chris Winter and welcome to my complete and updated Shopify tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up a Shopify site from the very beginning all the way to publishing it live. We're gonna get you to have a fantastic website looking absolutely brilliant, working flawlessly, and you won't believe just how nice you can make it. Now what I would highly recommend is that you work on your website while you watch this video. And one of the great things about Shopify is that you can get a fully working free trial without even putting any credit card information in. Now I'll put a link in the description box below under this video where you can get that free trial. And again, you don't have to put in any credit card information or anything, just your email address and you can start designing your site as we watch this tutorial. Okay guys, let's start off this Shopify tutorial. We're gonna really learn exactly how to set up your store. Pretty much go from no site to a working site within hopefully under an hour. Uh, it might be a little bit longer, it might be a little bit shorter, but either way, uh, hopefully I can really help you guys and you get a little bit out of this, even if it's just a little bit more knowledge on how to set up your site. Now, the very first thing uh, that I wanna tell you is that it's great with Shopify. You don't have to put in a credit card uh, straight away. You can actually get a free trial. Now, sometimes it's 30 days, sometimes it's 14 days. At the moment, I've got a 30 day uh, trial, so hopefully this will work for you as well. Uh, but a great thing is that even if it's a 14 day free trial, you can generally contact Shopify support and get them to extend it. So I'll put a link in the description box below for this page right here if you wanna get that free trial so you don't have to sign up with your credit card straight away. That'll be the first link in the description box below. Click on there and hopefully you'll come to this site. Now, why would we wanna use Shopify? Well, it's a fantastic platform, one of the best for e-commerce because it's so easy to use. You can really get some beautiful websites. I use it for about three or four of my own stores and I've been using Shopify for about five years. So uh, I like to think of myself as a little bit of an expert in Shopify. And hopefully I can share some of my knowledge with you. So uh, again, go to the link in the description box below and then you'll come to this site. If it's 14 days, just remember to contact them and say maybe you'll be able to get an extension. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is enter in our email address to get signed up. I've created a uh, email for this, test.tutorial at gmail.com. Let's get started. And then what we're gonna do is create the password for the site. So I'm gonna type in this. And then you're gonna put in your store name. Now don't worry too much, you can change this later on, but what's kind of important with this is that this is gonna be your Shopify domain name to start off with. So I generally like to put it in as something that will be related to my store. So we're gonna call my store Outdoor Wilderness. Okay, let's call it Outdoor Wilderness uh, today. There we go. You can click create store and then save password. And what you'll see is it's gonna be setting up pretty much everything uh, so you can get started, just setting up the dashboard as well. So there we go, ready to go. Okay, it's gonna ask you a few questions. You can always say this. Uh, are you actually selling at the moment? I'm not selling products yet. Do you have something to sell? Yeah, I do. What's my current revenue? I'm in Sweden, so I can just say zero. Doesn't really make a big difference. And if you are designing a site, you can click on this, but we're just designing it for ourselves. Then let's enter in some details. So I'll enter in mine, Chris Winter 78 Fake Street. Uppsala, Sweden, you can put in your own phone number. And then if you do have a website, you can put it in outdoorwilderness.com. Okay. So now we're gonna be entering in Shopify and if you are uh, with me, definitely follow along and you're always welcome to pause this video whenever you want. So this is your Shopify dashboard and you're gonna get used to this. Uh, this is pretty much the central place of all Shopify owners. They'll be logging into this every day. You can see here we have our main menu on the side where we can check our orders, we can add new products, we can uh, contact our customers. We can look at our analytics or our stats, see how many uh, visitors are visiting our website. There's this new marketing section in 2019 which will allow you to use Facebook ads and Google ads. You can easily create discounts and you can add some apps and we'll take a look at them later on. And we also have the sales channel, which is your online store. If you click this little button right here, it's gonna show you your, uh, how your store looks on the front end. And if we click on online store here, we've got a few more options. Like we can change the theme, add a blog post, add some pages, 
adjust the navigation, add a domain and change some preferences. And on the right here, we have a little bit of information about your sales. So when you get your first sale, it's gonna be really great. You're gonna be very excited and you'll see it coming up here and you can change how long you wanna see, but we don't obviously have anything right here. We've also got some helpful tutorials by Shopify. They make some great tutorials, but they're not as in depth as this one right here. And they've also got a few things, a few tips to get started. So the first thing that I wanna do is add a theme. So we're gonna to go to online store right here. Then we're gonna to go to themes. Then what we can do is explore free themes. So Shopify can come with a number of different free themes that you can choose. And a theme is essentially just a template. There are a lot of different themes that are really good. Some of them aren't super good and they will generally depend on what kind of store you wanna have. My favorite theme is most, doubt, most definitely Brooklyn. Uh, it's a nice theme with a nice big hero image. It's got great imagery. It's quite minimal. So let's choose Brooklyn. So to do this, all you do is go add Brooklyn and you'll see that it's gonna add it to our site. Okay, so you can see that we've now added Brooklyn and you'll see it come up right here. Just loads uh, sometimes. There's a few different things that you can do now. We've still got the debut theme, but generally I would recommend Brooklyn for most people. You can click on actions. You can preview the site if you want. <clears throat> as you'll see right now, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is a little bit gone. Uh, as you'll see right now, nothing much is really happening right here. It's all just the demo. We'll add some things later on. But what we wanna do right now is actually publish this. Sorry, we'll publish it right here. As I said, it's published, but don't worry, it's not published live yet. We still have a password protecting our website. So let's now adjust the theme. We'll customize it a little bit. So to do this, we're gonna click customize and we'll take a look at the customize page because this is where a lot of the fun begins. As you can see right here, we have a lot of options in which we can change. And on the right here, we have a live view of what the website will actually look like. If you go up here, you can actually see there are different ways in which you can view this. So if I click this button here, it's gonna show a mobile view. The Brooklyn theme is a responsive theme, which means that even if you view this on a desktop like I've got right now, or on a mobile, it's still gonna look really nice. You can also click this one here, and this will show a full screen view. If you ever wanna get back, just click here. Now on the left here, we have different sections. And what Shopify uses is a thing called sections. It's a great way of using it because essentially you don't have to know a lot of code. So for example, this is a section, this is a section, this is a section, and this is a section. And what you can actually do, so this rich text here, we can actually hot click down, hold this, and you can see that when I do this, it'll actually move and update live. So this is really, really nice. Again, we've got a few different sections here. We've got this collection list. Let's move this one down there. And now we have this at the top and the collection list is down here. What we're gonna do first off though, is go to our header. This is our header up here. And this is our logo section. As you can see, it's already pre-populated a logo with a text. But what we wanna do is actually add our own logo. You can definitely just use this text logo if you want. Uh, it's, it's quite nice, it's quite minimal, but I have a logo. So what I'm gonna do is go to select images, upload an image. We'll go to our demo site folder, logos. And I think which one we're gonna choose is we're gonna choose this one, a white one. It'll upload, you can click select. And there we go, we now have a logo on our website. Now, there's another option on this one, which is actually really quite cool with uh, the Brooklyn theme, is that you can actually have an inverted logo. So a, a, another color logo for when uh, you're on a different page. So for example, if we go to catalog here, you can see that we have a white background, but you can't actually see my logo. So what we wanna do is jump back to the homepage, back to header, 
and we're gonna go select image, upload, and now I have a black logo which I wanna use on my other pages. Oh, sorry, I've done this one on the wrong spot here. Um, we wanna change this to white, and then we wanna change this one here, sorry, to black. So now we have on the homepage logo, a white version, and then if we go to another page, we now have a black version. This is a really cool part of the theme and definitely one of my favorites. So we've now added a logo. There we go, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's now add a slideshow. We have a slide right here. You can change a few different things like how quickly it rotates. Let's change this to seven seconds. You can change the text color, so this text color right here. You can change the button color, so maybe we wanna have it in a brown color. I think that'll work well for the wilderness. You can change the button label color. How about we turn that white? So that's changed to white now. Let's now add a slideshow background. Go to hero images, and we're gonna use this photo here. And there you go. We now have a nice background. It says an introductory hero banner. I think I wanna change this. I actually have some nice text here. Let's do America's finest rugged outerwear. There we go. And now I think I like the idea of having shop now. You can also adjust an overlay. So if you see, if I go to 10%, this is gonna make it a little bit more easy to read. So if we go all the way to 65%, it's gonna be a lot darker. I'd probably go for about 25%. And again, if I'm going a little bit too quick for you or if you're not really sure what to do, please pause the video. You can always catch up whenever you want once you uh, click play. So we can adjust the slide link. So this is this button right here. And you can choose a number of different things. You can choose an individual product, which we'll link to, a collection, which is kind of a category, a page, a blog post, your policies, I probably wouldn't do that, but let's go to, uh, we'll choose collections and we'll do all collections for now because we haven't set any up just yet. Okay, so that slide's done, let's add another one. We'll go here, select images, upload. Got another photo here. And there we go, and I've got some more text right here. There we go. We have another nice slideshow. And again, let's add a slide link. We'll go collections, all collections, and we're good to go with this. Now, if you wanna add another slide, all you do is add slide. And if you wanna delete the slide, you can just click remove. Fantastic. So if you want to, you can always save in the right-hand corner up here. But you can see that our website is really coming along. We now have a logo. We've got a slideshow with some nice text and this will change every seven seconds or you can click these little buttons down here. Okay, let's move on down a little bit. So we have another section here, which I like to have. This is a nice bit of an introduction. And this here is a rich text section. So this is just a, a area where you can add some nice looking text. You can change it to a wide display, which will be a little bit wider. I generally like to have that off. And let's add a heading. How about welcome to outdoor wilderness, wilderness today. And we'll add some text. And as you can see, it looks really quite nice. Again, you can change the size of this font if you want it to be larger. I think larger looks a little bit nicer maybe. Or you can have it very small. But that's probably too small for most people. So let's have it in large. And then we'll go back and click save again. Generally this will uh, save most of the time, but uh, it's always nice to click save. Okay, this collection list here is gonna show uh, our categories. If we wanna delete this, we can actually just click remove se selection, but if you don't want to delete it and you want to keep it for another time, but you don't want to show it, all you need to do is click 
this button right here. It's a little eye button and this is going to hide it, which is probably a better idea for most of the time because if you delete it, you can't get it back. So uh, now we've hidden that. We've got another thing here. This is a featured collection. So this is going to show just from one category. For example, it might be uh, men's clothing, it might be uh, women's clothing, but we'll adjust this later on. Down here, we have a newsletter section, which you can add. Again, if we want to hide that, you can just hide it. But I think we do want to show it. And you can adjust here. You can say subscribe to your newsletter. Uh, please subscribe and we will send you some great deals every month. And you can see it's now adjusted. And then let's save it again. You can also adjust your footer, which is this thing down here. You can have a footer menu, which we'll edit later on. And if you click theme settings, you can actually add your social links as well. So if you have a Facebook page, just type in facebook.com forward slash, let's say outdoor wilderness. I don't actually have one. And then let's also add an Instagram as well instagram.com forward slash outdoor wilderness. And you can see that these links have come up right here. Okay, so for now, I think what we're gonna do is jump back to the dashboard and take a look at uh, adding some products and some collections. But it's looking pretty good. Okay, so we're back at our dashboard. As you can see, our theme is now updated with our background picture and our logo, that's pretty cool. So what we're gonna do now is jump back home by clicking up the top here. And we're going to now go to products. And what I like to do first before adding any products is going to collections. This is a really good idea to do because what it's gonna allow you to do is have everything neatly organized. So a collection again, is kind of a way of categorizing your products. So it might be, uh, you might have a collection for men's clothing, uh, hats, bags, different things like that. So let's create a collection. And I'm gonna call it um, hats. And you can add a description. This can be good for your search engine optimization. Uh, I'm not gonna do that right now, but if you do wanna do that, you're more than welcome to. You can also upload an image, which can be quite a good thing to do. Let's just add a cap picture here. Okay. And then what you can do is change the collection type. So we can change it to manual or automated. So automated would work by adjusting one of these variables. So if we're going to go to product title, if it contains hat or cap, then it's automatically going to go into this collection. So I think that'll work really quite well. You can also choose manual and then you can just simply add these pictures, uh, so these items yourself. So let's click save. And now Okay, so I've added a few different collections right here. Didn't want to bore you with this, but I've added a chairs collection, a bags, and a hats. We can always add a few more later on. We can also have a homepage collection. This can be good if you want to have maybe something on a homepage uh, and you want to be able to adjust exactly what's going to be on there. But I think what we're going to do actually right now is delete this collection because we don't actually need it just now. Okay, now we're good to add some products. So let's go to products up here. You can click all products and we can click add product. So let's add our very first product. So let's go to my images and see which one we're going to do. We've got our demo site here. I think I wanna make a, hmm, a backpack. So we've got this backpack here. I'm gonna call this a, uh, Forest Green Forest Backpack. There we go, that's the title. This is, can be used for your SEO as well, your search engine optimization. So make sure you use a nice uh, uh, text. And here we're gonna add a description. So this is a short amount of text which you're gonna use to describe the backpack. So let's say 
this backpack is made from 100% recycled material and will carry your camping gear uh, all day long. It's a great backpack and you will really love it. Buy it today. Okay, so these are just a, a quick description that I'm coming up with. Now what we're gonna do is add some images. So let's upload some images, we'll click upload. You can also just drag files right here if you want. We're gonna do it this way. We're gonna to go to backpack and look, I've got these images right here. So you can drag and select all of the images, click choose and you'll see that they're just uploaded straight away. I've got a very fast internet here in Sweden, so it might take a bit longer for you. And you can also drag these, so you're gonna be changing the order. Now this photo here is gonna be the main photo for the website. So I think I wanna have this one as my main photo. Let's now change pricing. So as I'm in Sweden, I've got Swedish Krona, but your website might have US dollars. So let's call this, uh, we're gonna sell this for 50, Swedish Krona. You can charge taxes on this product if you want. And then there's things like your SKU or your SKU. Uh, you don't really need to do this unless you're gonna be taking it a little bit more seriously. But right now, let's just uh, skip that. We're also going to be doing shipping. So yes, this is a physical product. Uh, what does it weigh? Let's just say it weighs one kilo. And this is pretty much what it's gonna look like in Google. Just click save quickly. And as you can see on the right here, we've already had the product go directly to collections. So it's already added bags because I have in the title backpack. So that's pretty cool. If you don't have these collections set on auto, you can always adjust this. That'll come up as a little checkbox and you can choose exactly which one you want. So the vendor is us, that's Outdoor Wilderness Today. You can also add a product type if you want. This is kind of just like a tag. Oh, sorry, we've got tags down here. So we might be able to add backpack, uh, green mm, bag. Again, tags are just generally there uh, for sorting later on. So there's our very first product made. Then we'll click save. And let's now click view right here and we'll take a look at it. So there you go. How cool is that? There's your very first product. We've got the forest backpack pack, 50 crowns. And here is our description that we wrote before. As you see, when we scroll down on this theme, it actually looks really nice. It holds this here and we can scroll and see the pictures. Now the cool thing about this theme is that if you click ooh, uh, on this theme, it doesn't actually have it, but uh, if you have a larger photo, you can click on this and you can have product mag magnification. So let's jump back and add another product. So we're just gonna to go to products. We're gonna to go to here, add product, uh, camping chair. This is a great camping chair that will make your trip much more comfortable. I would always write a little bit more than this, but uh, obviously you can write as much as you want. Let's get some photos for it. We'll sell this one for 100 crowns. It's about $15. You can also have a compare at price. So if you want this to be on sale, you're gonna have a compare at price that's gonna be higher than your price right here. So we can compare this at 200 crowns. So it's 50% off. And then we'll see once we click save, that this is already in the collection again automatically, which is really cool. Let's have a look at this now. And you can see we've now added this on sale. So people are gonna be like, wow, I can get this chair for 100 crowns off, 50% off, that's awesome. So that's how you make a sale. You can click this hide bar if you want. And there we go, let's add one more product. We're gonna add a mug, a stainless steel mug. This is a great mug to drink coffee from. I love coffee. <laughs> okay, now let's up upload some images. I'm gonna go to mug. It's always nice to have your photos 
all organized like this, it makes things a lot easier. So let's go 40 crowns and it is on sale. 20 crowns off. So that could be $20 off. Okay. Again, let's click save. You'll see that it will probably, hopefully, uh, now I haven't created a collection for this one, so I'll need to create my own one. But again, let's view this right now. And there it is. Simple as that. Someone can add it to the cart and then they can pretty much buy it. All right, let's jump back and we're gonna check out some settings now, some very important settings. Okay, so let's now jump to settings and to go to the settings, they're down here in the bottom left. We'll click on that. And we have a number of different settings in which you can change. We'll go through these relatively quickly. You can do it at your own pace uh, when you wanna do it. But in general, we're gonna have our store name, our email address, and you can adjust little things like this, your legal name of the business, ours will be this. And then your time zone. You can also adjust things like what store currency yours is gonna be in. We'll actually change this to US dollars right now actually. Might make it a bit easier for you guys to understand. But let's jump back. We'll then go to payment providers. This is who you're gonna be getting paid through. So uh, for example, you can have PayPal you can click edit and then activate this once you have got it set up. Uh, you can also do things like uh, payments through uh, Stripe, which is another very popular provider. And you can also do it through Shopify Pay. But again, we'll uh, do all of this in your own time because uh, I'm actually not gonna be setting up this store properly right now. So it's very easy to do. I would recommend Stripe. And if you've got Shopify Pay, they're very easy as well. Next up, we've got checkout. So checkout is the uh, area where you would go after uh, you've put your items in the cart and you're ready to pay. You can choose to have accounts disabled, which will mean check out, people will check out as guests. You can choose to have accounts as optional, which means that they can create their own account if they want, or they can check out as guests, or you can uh, choose accounts are required, so they have to have an account. I generally like the idea of having accounts as optional. Some people don't really want to create a full on password and have to remember that, but some people do want to, if they want to come back and look at their past purchases. Customer contact, I like to have this on customers can only check out using email. It's nice to have their email address. And you can also choose this if you want. I also like to have require first and last name. It helps with shipping. Company name, hidden. Address line two, optional. Shipping address, phone number. If you, you are gonna send something uh, that might need to be tracked or you really wanna make sure that you can get in touch with them, you can have this as optional or required. Okay, I like to keep this as the same. Require confirmation step. Generally, I don't do this. And also enable address completion. Next, what we're gonna do is have email marketing. I always recommend pre-selecting this. It's always good to have the option to be able to contact people and being able to get their address is a great way to be able to send them marketing later on. And we'll click save. Okay, now we're gonna jump back to the settings and we'll go to shipping. And this is something that you're probably gonna to have to set up yourself because it's gonna change uh, with wherever you wanna be. So if you're in America, you're gonna have different shipping, but you can essentially choose different shipping zones. So there will be a domestic shipping zone, so this might be from your own country, or there might be a rest of the world, which might be all of the other countries. So you can adjust the pricing of what it's gonna cost. So for example, it's $10 here for domestic, rest of the world is $20. You can also adjust different things on the weight as well. Have a bit of a play around with that, and that's the best way to do it. You can also manage your taxes. This is definitely gonna change depending where you are, but make sure you pay your taxes. Locations, where your products are actually stored. Notifications, this is actually something that you do wanna change. So you've got all of these emails that will come directly through uh, Shopify. They will send all of these out for you. One thing you do wanna to go to is customize and then add your logo. This is really important and a lot of people miss this. So let's go to logos and we can change this one right here. You want it to be around about 180 pixels wide. So now all of your emails that you send out will have this nice logo. 
So we can jump back now to notifications, settings, and files. You don't need to click on this, but if you do have an upload a file and you want to be able to re-download it, they're right there. Sales channels are your store. You can also sell on Facebook and Instagram. It's a little bit more in depth. Account, manage your account, billing, and legal. If you do click on legal, one of the nice things that Shopify do is uh, they they can customize, uh, sorry, they can generate a legal form for you, which saves you doing it yourself. So you can just click on create from template. And as you see here, it's now instantly created a return policy for you, which is great. And it'll also put in your email address and things like that. You're also your address. You can add a privacy policy and terms of service. Click save, simple as that flying along. Okay, let's go back to settings and billing. If you do want to uh, sign up, you can just add your credit card here and then it's as simple as that. Okay, now I just wanna jump back to the customized section. So to do this, we go to online store and you can just click on customize. And as you see right here, we still don't have a featured uh, collection. So we don't have any products here. So what we're gonna do is hide this one and we're gonna now have collection list back on. So we can actually choose which collections that we want. So remember collection list is like your categories. So let's select a collection and I wanna choose hmm, bags as my first one, click select. And you can see it's popped up here. I also wanna choose chairs and I want to choose mugs well, there we go look at that it's really coming along and you can see this is all without any coding yourself if we go to collection list let's change this to uh, shop our store pretty nice so we'll go back click save and what I want to do now also is add another section so you can add lots of different sections on here, as many as you want, really. Let's add a section. And I think what I want to do is have a featured product. Let's, uh, I want to tell people all about this mug. So click on featured product and then you click add. And as you can see, this has popped up here. So let's select a product, hmm, this mug. And as you can see now, it's automatically added all of the information here. So this is really cool you want to feature a product. You can also change uh, a few different things, show the vendor and sharing buttons if you want. I think we'll keep it like that. But one thing I want to do is move this up because I don't want this newsletter right here. I want to be able to share this. So we've moved it up again just by moving it like this. Remember that's how we do it. Okay, the site is really starting to look pretty cool. Let's add one more section. Let's add a map. Okay, so we go to add. And what we're gonna do is click find us here. And this address will be fine. Although we know that we are in Uppsala, Sweden. You can add your shop opening hours. But if you only have an online store, you can just get rid of this if you want. Now, let's add a map. So. Let's go to uh, 38 Fifth Avenue, New York. Let's see if that works. What this is gonna do is now allow you to get directions uh, for your store. So um, essentially, if you want, uh, you can people will be able to click on this, but what I like to generally do is add a background image here. So let's click select image. And we've got a nice image that we can do. Let's do this one again. I really like this image here. So you'll see that this will fit out perfectly and it's a nice background to have right there. So we now have a map and I think it, it's a good location to have it right here. I'll just show you quickly the other sections that you can have. You can also add in a blog post if you wanna add some blog posts. You can have a collection list. You can have a featured collection you can have an image with text, featured product, we've already seen that, newsletter sign up, we've already seen that, a map, rich text, we've already seen this one. You can also add a video and you'll just use a YouTube link for that. 
And if you're a little bit more advanced, you can have custom HTML, but we don't need anything else. I think this is a really nice looking site. It's looking great. So if we just go to theme settings quickly, we actually have a lot more options which we can change. So this is really cool if you wanna adjust the colors and fonts and things like this. So let's change the colors and we're gonna have the uh, background as white. I always like that. Headings look nice in black, body text, gray, buttons, labels looking good. I think I wanna make this a little bit more brown. So you can see that the link changed here. Let's change that to green just so you can quickly see. That's pretty ugly, so we'll go back to brown. And then product backgrounds is good. Sale tags, let's make them a goldy kind of color. You can see that that's changed there. Form fields, I would just leave these right here. For the drawers, this is actually for your pop-out add to cart section. I wanna change this again to a bit more of a brown color. And that's looking pretty good. So you can really just keep things relatively simple, I recommend. Nice minimal websites are always good. Typography is the fonts that you wanna have. So we've got old standard here. We can change this if you want to something else. If you wanna have it something different, uh, you can see that this has changed right here. That actually looks really quite nice. Let's, let's change it to that. Then you can change different things. So accent, accent text is gonna be here and body text is gonna be here. I wouldn't mess around with it too much because a lot of these themes look pretty good anyway. Cart page. So you can either have your cart as a draw. So if we click this little cart button up here, this is a pop-out drawer which uses a technology called Ajax to uh, allow you to see the cart without reloading the page, or you can have it as a page. So let's have a look at this now once this is reloaded. If I click on this cart now, you can actually see that we have a full-on page for this. Whichever one you want, doesn't really make a big difference. Um, on this one, I probably want to keep it as a page. I, I generally like to have a dedicated page but it's totally up to you. Social media, it's already populated our Facebook details. You can also add an image just if people share your, uh, your website on Facebook, this is gonna pop up. And we'll go to our Favicon now. A Favicon is essentially a, uh, the little image that goes up in your uh, URL on some browsers, so <clears throat> let's just let's just add one here we'll just do something like this cap that'll be a cool little fabricon and that'll automatically update again not super important looks like it's actually crashed my site a little bit but that's okay <laughs> uh, yeah just it's just a little uh, thing that will go in your browser again not a big deal and check out what we can do is add your logo let's select this one here again and you'll see this once we get to the checkout stage. You can add a background image and things like that, but I would generally keep it very, very simple. Uh, people, when they're checking out, they wanna make sure that things are looking good. Shopify have done a lot of testing with this, so I would highly recommend not adjusting this too much other than adding your logo. Keep it really nice and simple. Click save, and we're looking good with the design of the website. Look at that, we've designed a website in under about 30 minutes. Okay, I wanna jump back to the homepage now and show you guys a few other key places where you wanna be going on your Shopify site. So orders, when a order comes in, they'll show up right here. You will have the name and the address of where you go, uh, of the people where you need to send it to. You can also have things like abandoned checkouts, but again, they won't show up until you get an order. Uh, your products, we've already seen this. Mainly what you really wanna be looking at is all products. If you wanna do a bulk edit, you can click here and click edit products. And then you can adjust these a lot quicker. So we can make this backpack, uh, let's make it a $60 original price. So it's gonna be $10 off now. And I want this camping chair to not be on sale anymore. We'll put it back to $200. That's an expensive chair. Okay, let's now go to analytics. We're not gonna have many analytics right now, but you can see Right here, we have our dashboard, and you can see this is where you're gonna see your total sales. So how many sales you're getting every day. Online store session, how many people are visiting your store. 
returning customer rate, the people who've uh, bought something from you and then come back, where people have gone to. So uh, this is your online store conversion rate. So you can see how many, what percentage of people have added to cart and then reached checkout and then converted. Your average store value. So uh, let's say you get a thousand people uh, and then you, uh, it'll essentially show you how much each person is spending, how many orders you've had, where they're coming from, which is always good. You can see I'm the only one here in Sweden, little old me, and then a few other things as well. You can have a lot of fun with this. Uh, definitely you'll be checking this a lot, especially once you start getting some sales. Okay, let's now jump down to discounts. We're not gonna to touch on marketing just now. I'll make a separate video about that. But if you do wanna to go to marketing, it's gonna allow you to create things like Facebook ads, Google ads for shopping, and it can be good if you're a bit of a newbie with ads. So let's create a discount. So discounts are essentially creating a discount code. So if you wanna have a sale, for example, a Black Friday sale, we can add the discount code Black Friday. I generally like to have it with no spaces or anything in it. And that's quite easy. And I like to have it in caps, although this isn't actually a, um, you don't, it doesn't matter if it's in capitals or not. You can adjust what kind of discount you want. If we want to have a 10% off discount, if they type in this code, or you can adjust the, you can have a fixed amount. So let's say if they type in Black Friday, they get $5 off. Or you can get free shipping if they type this in or you can also get buy one, get one free kind of thing. But what we're gonna do right now is a percentage off. So let's say for Black Friday, everyone gets 50% off if they type this in. You can also choose which uh, this is gonna to apply to, if it's gonna be their entire order, or if they get uh, in a collection or in a product. And you can also have whether it's a, there's gonna be a minimum requirement. So if they've purchased a certain amount of uh, dollars worth or a certain number of items, you can also choose this to have a specific number of customers and you can choose to have this as one per customer or a certain number of times that it can be used. So I think we're gonna have it as one per customer and we're gonna start it today or actually we'll start it on Black Friday which is around about the 23rd of November, something like that. And you can also set an end date as well. Let's do it for the weekend. Click save discount and now you can add this right here to your marketing. And when people check out, they can go to the, uh, the checkout section and type in Black Friday and they get 50% off. So that's pretty cool. Let's also take a quick look in the sales channels here on the left again. We're in themes, we've already seen this. You can always change different themes. You can add a blog post. This is pretty self-explanatory, but a blog post is essentially a way in which you could create some content uh, and it will show up on your website. You can create pages. Pages are definitely something you do wanna check out. So let's create an About Us page. So let's say About Us. Uh, we create the world's best backpacks and hats for camping and we also make mugs. Obviously you would type in a lot more than this, but what we're gonna do is just save this right now and we'll also create a page about uh, shipping. Let's do that as well. Shipping, we ship worldwide for $20 and we ship to the US for $10. Again, add more information, but this is good for now. Okay, the next one is navigation, and this is quite important because this is gonna be on your homepage. Navigation is essentially your menus. So the main menu is the one that we wanna edit mainly. So we're gonna to go to main menu. We don't have to change the title. And the first thing here is home. So let's take a quick look at our site here. You can see that we have home and we have catalog. So what I wanna change this to, so I wanna get rid of that catalog. So click remove. Then I wanna add a menu item and I wanna to go to link, pages, about us, click add, click save, and you can see now, if I refresh this, we now have about us in our menu. So if we click on this, there's our little about us page that we wrote. Not very good, but that's all right. You can also add a, let's add our shipping page. So pages, shipping, add, 
there you go. And how about a, uh, we'll do a, a collection. So we're gonna go all collections, add, and we're gonna change this to our products. Obviously you can have your own collection if you want. Let's click save menu, refresh this again. And look at that, we now have all of these great menu items. So our products, you can see we have all of our things. So let's go and check out the mugs. And there's our mug. Awesome, so that's looking pretty good. Again, play around with this if you want. You can also, just quickly, I'll show you in pages. We'll go down here on the left, click add page. You can also have a contact us page. They have a template for this. So all you need to go is to template right here click page contact and then click save. And if we see this page now, uh, view page, you've now got your own little contact form, which is really, really nice to see. And people can contact you and that'll go directly to your email. So let's just quickly go to main menu again and we're gonna add contact us page. And you'll see now that this is probably gonna change the way that your site is gonna look. And now we have it as a hamburger menu because uh, there's a few too many things on the actual menu. So uh, try not to maybe have too many of these on your site, otherwise it's gonna change the menu to here. Okay, next we're gonna to go to domains. A domain is essentially a domain name. So the current domain name is outdoorwildernesstoday.myshopify.com. Not very pleasing, what you can do uh, is buy a domain name through Shopify. I'd recommend this, that these guys are great. Uh, so what you might buy is something like, uh, let's say outdoor wilderness, wildernesstoday.com. Let's see if that's available. There you go, it's available. You can buy it for just $14 US a year. It's pretty cheap actually. I'd highly recommend that. You can also change the extension, but it's always good to have this if you just set it up through Shopify, it's very easy to do. Otherwise it can be a little bit confusing, but definitely want to get a nice domain. Let's now go to preferences. This is something you definitely want to uh, adjust. This is your homepage title. So this is going to be uh, your meta description and your, your title, which shows up on YouTube, uh, sorry, on Google. So let's go outdoor wilderness wheel Wilderness Today uh, online store. Uh, we create the best gear for camping and living outdoors. Right here, I would try to include some uh, good meta description words, so things that you really want to be found up on, on Google. So you can uh, use up to 320 characters. Uh, we make mugs, hats, and bags so you can adjust this if you know about Google Analytics you can add your code here and if you know about Facebook pixels you can add a code here as well now we currently have a password protection on this website so I'll just show you quickly this is what it actually looks like if we take a look without being logged in you can see that we have this kind of coming soon page but if you ever need to log in, you can click enter using password. And then what you do is use this password right here, enter password. And you can see that we're now in here. So this is what, if you want to uh, share your site, uh, this is the password that you would uh, give out. You can always change this to outdoor or something like that. And you click save. Okay, and now we're going to take a look at apps. This is where a lot of the fun can really start with um, Shopify because there's essentially an app store. Uh, think of it like a app store on your phone. Uh, you can really get a lot of different plugins. We'll just take a quick look. We're not gonna add too many right now. Um, but there, this can really enhance your store. Don't go too crazy and add too many apps, but uh, you can definitely add a few things which will be really quite nice. So for example, let's add um, something like, uh, I like this one, the free shipping bar. Uh, it's this one right here, free shipping bar by Hextum. Click add app. And it'll come up here, install that app. 
and you can see right now that the app is now installed. If you ever need to go back to your apps, you just click here. Let's now create a new bar. I like this one here. And this app here is gonna allow us to have this option where it says free shipping for orders over, let's say, uh, yeah, let's say $100. Okay, um, then we can also do this. And then when you add something to the cart, it's gonna say exactly how much away you are from free shipping, congratulations. Blah, 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 let's save this, very good. And we'll jump back now, let's just make sure it's activated and I think it is. So let's now go to the website and, oh, we're gonna have to type this in. Uh, sorry, enter using password, outdoor, I think it was, not now. And you can see right now we have we're only $60 away from free shipping because we must have something in here for $40. So let's update this now. Let's go to, I wanna add this twice. You can see that this just updated here as well. So that's pretty cool. What about if we add another one? What's it gonna say? Ooh. Congratulations, you've got free shipping. As simple as that, and that can be a really great way of actually uh, encouraging people to get some sales. So that was the free shipping bar. That's just an example of an app. It does really work quite well. So again, we can just see it's on pretty much all of the pages as well. So we've got free shipping. Let's just remove this one again, just to double check. Yep, still, still working, $20 away. Okay, nah, I don't wanna, I wanna get free shipping. So there you go. That is the free shipping bar. And that's the power of apps. You can have so much fun with different apps. Uh, I've made some videos on my channel about different, the best apps on Shopify, so you can check them out as well. Okay guys, there you go. Under an hour, we've created a very nice Shopify store, completely working. Everything's looking really good. Uh, it's pretty impressive what you can do in under an hour. So definitely make sure to check out that free trial. Uh, the link will be in the description box below. Uh, it's as simple as that. Hopefully I was able to help you even just a little bit, uh, but I hope you have a fantastic journey uh, with Shopify. It really is a great product. Definitely my favorite place to create online stores. There is no better. Look at our nice little website right here. So there you go guys, congratulations. You just finished the tutorial. Hopefully you really did enjoy it. It was a lot of fun making it and it just goes to show just how powerful Shopify is. Gotta say, I really do love this platform. It's amazing what you can do in just under an hour with this. If you haven't done it yet, definitely do make, to, make sure to subscribe to this channel because I'm gonna be making lots of videos about Shopify, how you can make money online with Shopify and other ways as well. Uh, and also do give a like on the video as well. And also give yourself a pat on the back. This was a great tutorial to watch, but it was quite long, it was an hour long. So uh, you did really well if you made it this far. Uh, if you haven't done it yet, definitely check out the Shopify link in the description box below. Uh, that is an affiliate link, so I'll get a commission if you do uh, sign up with that link, but that's always uh, helpful. And uh, good luck with your journey <clears throat> with Shopify. I hope you have a fantastic journey. I feel really confident for you and you're gonna do great. See you in the next video. Bye, good luck.